We're here with the Nikon D600. It's a new addition to Nikon's camera range and it claims to be the smallest and lightest full-frame digital SLR camera. The D600 is on the edge of the professional style camera range from Nikon and it includes some very impressive features that are found on some of the more expensive cameras. It includes a new CMOS sensor which provides 24.3 effective megapixels. It also has an ISO range of 100 to 6400. One of the most impressive features of the D600 is the XP3 image processor. This is the same processor that's included in Nikon's D4 camera, so it's right up there at the professional end of the scale. It's also capable of capturing 5.5 frames per second, so you'll really be able to get a lot of shots off. And it features 39 different autofocus points, so you'll be ensured that you'll be able to get super sharp images. It has a magnesium alloy top and bottom to the casing, which helps make it light, but it's not a full magnesium alloy body like the D800, although it does have the same weatherproofing that the D800 features. It features a dual SD slot, so you're able to put two cards in and save movies to one and pictures to the other. And it also features a, a pop-up flash, so you're able to take photos in low light conditions. You can record full HD video at 1080p resolution, uh, a frame rate of either 24, 25 or 30 frames per second. But you can increase this frame rate to 60 if you drop down to 720p resolution. And you've also got audio monitoring on screen. Nikon has also announced a, a wireless adapter for the D600, which uh, will not only allow you to share your photos over a Wi-Fi network, but it will also allow you to control the shutter release of the camera using either an Android or an iOS device. And according to Nikon, the battery life will last for 900 still shots or an hour of video recording. It has all the manual controls you'd expect from an SLR camera and it, everything's well set out. Although one thing we found quite strange was that there's a, a directional pad on the back where you might expect maybe a scroll wheel instead, which could cause a little bit of confusion. The D600 will go on sale on September the 18th and it will cost £1,955.99 for the body only and with the standard lens kit will cost £2,433.99 and the wireless adapter will be available for £64.99. That's it from the D600 but for more information about how we test digital cameras click on the link below or for more information about cameras in general visit witch.co.uk.